this is launched from the shoulder, from a tripod or from a vehicle system. Like LMM, we've got two rocket motors. We've got a rocket motor which boosts the, the missile out from the launch canister, out to a safe distance from the operator. The main rocket motor kicks in. That boosts the weapon up to Mach 3.5 or in old money, two and a half thousand miles per hour or 1100 meters per second. A missile can miss and do damage because we have a proximity sensor in LMM, but Star Streak is a hitile. It has to hit to do damage. So we have three darts at the front of Star Streak. When they're released from that rocket motor, they're independently guided, again with a laser beam because Star Streak is a laser beam rider missile uh, or hitile. So each of the darts is independently guided towards the target. One hit, one dart will kill or frustrate the mission of the aircraft or helicopter uh, that we're engaging. And if you look at some of the componentry that's on that table in front of us, really small components. All we manufacture in this facility are elements which are safety critical or performance critical. So roughly 80% of our product we buy in uh, we design, we specify, and then we pass it out to other uh, contractors to provide that for us. But if I was to look at the dart in, a, in its own right, uh, you'll, you'll see that it has a front end which can rotate freely and a back end which can rotate freely. So in flight, it's flying straight, then the front turns one way and the back turns the other. We want to maneuver, there's a little clutch in here, just like the clutch in a car. It engages, it holds the front and rear body together, and the little ailerons then maneuver the, the, the dart in space. So wherever we want that dart to go, if we move the laser beam, this dart will follow that path uh, and go to a pre-programmed position, all because of a little sensor on the back end, which is detecting the laser information field projected from the shoulder, the tripod, or the launch vehicle. Um, there is a, a little warhead in the center of this. It doesn't need the warhead to do the damage because this is moving at Mach 3. And I always think back to my, my, uh, my physics days, my mathematics days at school, which are a long way behind me. But in essence, uh, in kinetic energy is a half times the mass times the velocity squared. So if you think the velocity is a thousand, over a thousand meters per second, then one dart will hit the target with a, roughly one million joules of energy. That's an awful lot of energy, does an awful lot of damage. Uh, but the little warhead, once we penetrate into the side of an aircraft or a helicopter, it detonates and uh, basically tears apart the rest of the dart and creates a, a pattern, something like this. So we get large sections right down to the sections that look like dust. And those sections, those particles would be tearing through electronics and hydraulics inside an airframe. And that's what does the damage. The big impact of energy is the dart hits, but when you tear through electronics and hydraulics on an airframe, then the, the airframe is really no use anymore. It either, it either crashes, goes in a controlled spin down to the ground, or it has to go back to base. Uh, it's not going to drop a payload on you.